the lure of the Yarra Valley was too strong for this former lawyer to resist, and there began a love affair. Well, a long, slow process of making my mistress my wife. Very expensive, but I've never regretted it. Do you remember the first glass that was really memorable to you? It was in either 1969 or 70, and um, Len Evans, I was at his house, and he walked up and he simply handed me a glass and said, here, taste this. And when I tasted it, it was unlike anything that I had ever tasted in my life. And it was a 1962 Latache from the main La Romani Conti. Seduction was total and irreversible. In wine terms, I became the butler in the age of seven or eight. When my father came back from the Second World War, he had a walk-in wine cellar. They didn't drink wine every night, but when they did, I would be dispatched down to the cellar to get the wine that he wanted to have. My move to Melbourne was a, a multi-purpose uh, thing, uh, to get the firm going in Melbourne. Uh, but also to get me closer to the Yarra Valley. I mean, I had fallen absolutely in love with the Yarra Valley. But my bank manager who said that you do realise that you're walking out leaving hundreds of thousands of dollars on the floor behind you. Yeah, I might have more money, but I certainly wouldn't have more happiness. Mm -hmm. Wine tasting is all about concentration. It's, it's as much intellect as anything else. As a sign of my age, um, I work as long as I used to work when I was younger, but everything takes longer. So I've cut back on the number of wines I used to taste way back, uh, up to 160 wines a day. Then I cut it to 120, then to 100, uh, and now it's uh, around 80. New varieties. I think are very interesting. I mean, look, there's so much on the Australian landscape these days. We're, we're in, a, in a wonderful position now. My ashes will be scattered on house block Chardonnay underneath the house, and I've already told them in the winery, if they get up to anything bad after I've gone, I will come down with vengeance on them. I used never to drink the best wine on my own. I preferred to share the greatest wines with, with friends. Now I'm in the position where um, I need to drink some of those great wines. It was Len Evans who said, after all, that every time you drink an ordinary bottle of wine, you smash a great bottle on the wall, his theory of consumption. And I'm a believer in that. There's not too much um, I'd, I'd change, really. Um, well, you'd probably make the same mistake. <laughs> when I I can't remember where I put something five minutes ago. I feel full of uh, rising 80. Um, but otherwise, no, I don't, I don't feel old. I still enjoy life.